My Hero Academia, Season 6, Episode 11. Master, I want to be there within five minutes. You shouldn't even be standing. That we're happy you're back in the field, but you're still recovering. Don't <laughs> Oh my god! What matters is that countless lives are being unraveled as we speak. No! Yourself too. Finally, my questions are answered. Oh my god, I've been waiting so long for this. I knew it all along. I called it from the beginning. Hawks would never. Hawks would never. But I have one more question. What what has he been doing? I, recovering? Recovering? What has he been recovering from? <laughs> Hawks? Oh my god, the range of emotions that I just experienced. Unreal. The tides of this battle have just changed. Best genius is back to repair the, the patches in our heart and weave the cloth of victory. I hope this whole episode is just best genius. I was just a best genius. Okay. It wasn't this would be cool too. Shigaraki. Please, stay Please. down. Okay, yeah, right, right. I think he's good for a bit. I, I think he's gonna chill. Damn, as if carrying Endeavor and Bakugo wasn't enough. He just carried like 8,000 people. Still alive. Stay calm. He'll be good, he'll be I'll good, he'll be good. Up. The plot demands it. My heart demands it. The gigantic villain is Ida arrives. Away. We've already informed the heroes fighting Nomu nearby. Get Midoriya and the others to safety. This is... No wonder you guys... Yeah, for God's sake, they've done enough. You know, you don't know what we've been through, man. It's been such a crazy ride. You go, Ida. Take Kachan and Endeavor. Kachan being the biggest priority, I think. Pado, help me. Let's put pressure on him. Got it. Yeah, I mean, these these guys can take it from here. Maggots. Oh my- Oh, he's still going. He's insane. What I want to do is save- Oh yeah, I can't wait to see how this goes, too. Man, this is already a crazy episode and in the first two, two seconds. Play. Uraka does not have the perspective we do. The curiosity about how far Toka can ch change, grow. About someone I love, it makes me want to become that person, to live inside of their skin. I want to drain their blood so badly it makes my chest hurt. Uh, it's just who I am. Read between the lines, Ochako. <laughs> she wants to understand you, or she wants to be understood. Turns out, if I love a person, I can become them and use their power. You have no idea how happy that makes me. Stop it! So <laughs> weird similarity to all for one. What are you even trying to get at? This whole conversation could be a lot more productive if Toga was just a little more normal. But at least they're talking. Jean was precious to me too. Like a brother. You know, we're the same. Ooh, Araka, listen, listen. Because I'm pretty sure you've got a massive crush on Izuku too. I mean, obviously. Oh, that's the censored for oh, I mean, thank God. We don't need that kind of filth on this channel. I can't spend any more time on her. If I attack her, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> What a low-key, brutal insult. Written people say you can do what you want, and you deserve whatever's coming to you. Oh, that was h way h harsher than... My answer. No, that didn't go well at all. That did not go well at all. Toga felt that one. The girl I shared. Oof, I, yeah, that, that kind of hurt me. I thought maybe somehow. we could bond over romantic stuff, but those were tears. There we go. A little late, but better late than never. I'm not confused anymore. Don't go, Toga. You were so close. Oh no, did we just lose her forever? It hurts me for what could have been. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be like a little break episode, like a little interlude. Nope, not in season six. We can't fight that behemoth and Shigaraki at the same time. Best to take the injured one off the board first. The one thing you're not counting on in your favor is best genus. This is a huge problem. Put me down, you four-eyed robot. I love you too. I need a complete victory. What is your next order? A lot will depend on who answers that question. But one of my lungs collapsed. I'm not sure I can damage you much when every breath I take is hell. So instead, just watch what I do. Man, this is so crazy. Endeavor's just the gift that keeps on giving. There There's just no limits how far they can push themselves. The way up here, everyone looks like tiny little ants. <laughs> and Dobby. As if it wasn't bad enough. You're acting like we've never met. He is related. He is related. He's a relative. He's a son. He's a son. Lost son. Call me Toya. After all, it's the name you and mom gave me. Finally confirmed. 
Yeah, that makes sense. They're missing sun. This has been a crazy season, but I don't know. This this is something else already. I feel like I need a break. I'm overwhelmed right now. There's so much going on. That was like eight episodes in one in the first half. Best genius return. What I feel will be a very, very fateful encounter with Uraka and Toga. The lost sun reveal and what I'm guessing is going to be huge, huge character development for Endeavor and Todoroki. Gigantomaki is showing up. Bakugo wanting a total victory. All this episode is missing for me right now is a great moment for Deku and Muriel getting his powers back. Sorry to interrupt. My name is Toya Todoroki, the number one This is his big moment. Is my father. He's been thinking about this for a long time. Wait, he's... Yep, yep. Yes, the so-called villain sitting in front of you is Endeavor's oldest son. This is the sins of Endeavor come back to haunt him. Endeavor has always obsessively yearned for power. Much to his despair, he could never surpass All Might on his own. So he forced my mother to marry him in an attempt to create an heir with the perfect quirk. Yeah, that... that did happen. It wasn't long before he gave up on me and I was cast aside and forgotten. Man, this is some good... damn, what was it called? Yap tube. This is some great yap tube. I wonder what thumbnail he used for this. I didn't forget our family. I've been watching you from the shadows this entire time. Man, I, here I thought we were sort of like healed from the Endeavor stuff. History is back. But then you unexpectedly became the number one hero! Who would have guessed, huh? I was suddenly so invested in your happiness. Is this in some weird way a cry for help? Daddy's love? What? Nothing to say? Well, allow me! The past never dies. There's so much Dobby doesn't know. Let's fall together! Crazy crazy Dobby thing about this is it unites Endeavor and Todoroki in such a new you? way. Well, speak up, Dad! Oh, he's he's in a hell of all of his own. I wanted to raise him to be a hero. At the same time, I continued to hope for a child who could harness both fire and ice. Todoroki just outshined him. I was certain that you could find the success I always wanted. My frustration and jealousy. Such a great callback to this image, this vision. My son is dead. These are disgusting lies. He knows, he can feel it. Wow, Dobby, I had no idea. Yeah, I wonder what he's playing at here. He hid this from us too? What for? Dobby has his own agenda. That much has been so clear for so long. This here is an official paternity test. I use the blood Endeavor left in Kyushu. Endeavor, you are the father. <laughs> Endeavor continued to make my mother have kids. Their fourth child is someone you yeah, probably know. Yeah, that happened. Endeavor is not a man who cares about other people or their well-being. You haven't watched the other seasons of My Hero Academia then. Where were you? Oh yeah, you were trying to kill students. What's the deal with the white hair though? There's obviously a correlation between that and ice use. Or maybe that's just a coincidence. These lies won't make us lose faith in number one! Does this bad guy think we're stupid or something? It's a very interesting reaction. Like the number two pro hawks. Oh, we have images of this too. He didn't hesitate to drive his blade through the back of a despondent opponent. It was hastily edited, but the end result was quite powerful. Relatable. <laughs> a true YapTuber. Watch this end with him asking people to like and subscribe. Do you think Endeavor is a, a bad person? Let me know in the comments. All jokes aside, that, that one viewer's reaction was pretty on the nose kind of perfect. I understand it can be really hard to separate. Like if you really are inspired by someone and feel someone has profoundly affected your life and you adore certain aspects of them, you over idolize them. And I've seen this a lot where supporters of someone will ignore evidence to the negative about them or will refuse to believe their negative things. It just becomes their blanket good. There's no gray. Whereas there's nothing really lost in saying that you admire Endeavor as a hero and his heroic qualities while also thinking this is possible and was terrible when it happened. This might be controversial, but I don't think that undermines any of Endeavor's growth. Or maybe more importantly, I don't think that the category good person, bad person is really important. It's about seeing things as truthfully and accurately as possible. And I think to ignore evidence of someone's wrongdoing and to take a very categorical binary stance undermines the person that you're supporting because it ends up becoming less about what they do and more about your position, your stance or your group or whatever. Playing that same game, they're more easily dismissed by their opponents. They just then have license to throw out the person's entire accomplishments, everything they've done, everything good they have to say or to do because they're essentially engaging in the same practice you are. And it, it becomes less a battle of finding out, you know, great ideals and getting Getting to truth, but more about a more petty dispute between factions and groups. To take it to an extreme, you can take people you despise and find the gems that they have to offer. And that's way more useful, I think, than this kind of factionalism. Stellar work. 
Those cameras of yours got some great shots. I'm glad the rest of the world got to see them. Does that not mean they kind of let Gene get hit like that for Dobby's plan? He killed the number three hero. Best genius is dead. No. No, that is incorrect. I maintain the same thing for Hawks. I like Hawks. I like a lot of things about him. I still maintain that I don't like what he did to Gene. And while there are certainly good arguments for why it was essential, and I don't have any issue with people making those points, I think there's a certain element of it where people feel the need to defend the action solely because they really like Hawks and they don't want to mesh those ideas, if that makes sense. You're Dobby has a point. I mean, these disgusting people treat you as tools for their own self affirmation. Uh, All these villains have their points, but it's incomplete. So there's no evidence against it. This yet. guy's whole world is broken. Even if everyone knows that guy's a villain, it doesn't matter. But it's broken to the extent that he believed the lie. Thank you for living long enough to see this day. Endeavor! I looked for you everywhere. Damn it! He's fast! And he's dealing with this with a punctured lung. Protect Midoriya and Bakugo! Hado and I will hold him off! Snap out of it! It's crazy for Todoroki. It's so insane. Taking the lead over his father. That looks familiar. Yeah. I mean, I get his hesitation, but... What the... Sorry. There he is! Hell yeah! As of this also undermines Dobby's argument a little bit. Is back. Told you he's gonna save the day. Did he just wrap up <laughs> Giganto Machia like it was nothing? <laughs> That's amazing. Called it. Called it. War is over. Best genius has arrived and we have won. But I wonder what exactly went down with him and Hawk. Something went down. Hawk's name hasn't quite been cleared. For sure. I feel stupid. Like, I legit thought that this episode was gonna be a cooldown. Shigaraki was mostly defeated. It's nearing the end of the first half of season six. I thought maybe this would just be a little bit of dealing with Giganto Machia. I was not prepared, man. I was not prepared for this one. I should probably be focusing on the credits. Yeah, here it is, here it is, here it is. Yeah, some Dobby focus. I guess I'm a l a still a little bit unclear on what exactly happened. I mean, Dobby was pushed to his limits, felt abandoned. Does he think Endeavor left him in the forest, in the fire, or did he use that as a chance to just flee? Holy crap, man, this episode. About Endeavor and Dobby, Dobby is, he feels m more like a pure villain than a lot of them. But I think at the very least, this episode gives his character a little more of a tragic depth. It's just sad. The Dobby we're seeing now is terrifying in that he's totally unhinged. And he doesn't really seem to have the bonds that other villains have. He's kind of just been riding along, trying to get into this position, it seems. Maybe there's a little bit of it, but less than the other characters, the other villains. And at this point, he's just bent on destruction and just total revenge but maybe this is just me extrapolating and reading into it a little bit too much but i just feel like a lost kid you know a lost child who felt abandoned and abused by his his father and it's so interesting to contrast that with what we've seen of endeavor having kind of made great strides in understanding the wrong he's done and sought to make amends for that with his kids and in action you know dedicating his life to being a hero in a way that is Endeavor, All Might's advice to him, as opposed to reaching for something impossible that was never him and burning everything in his wake. So Endeavor's done so much for the world, he's done so much for himself, but Dobby is fighting an older Endeavor. He's, he's fighting the abusive father, who was real. You know, he was real at one point. And there's a continuity. You know, it's part of his past, like Dobby was saying. I think it was a, a really great touch also having Todoroki be present for this simultaneously, because there's so much interplay between the three of them. You know, it's not just Dobby speaking to his younger brother and to his abusive father. There's a weird invisible bond that immediately forms between Endeavor and Todoroki as a result of this. They all know the full story, right? Or they all know most of the story, more than anyone else does. And they've once been at odds, but to me, it feels like they're now closer together than ever. Which again, tragic for Dobby because he just missed the whole thing. It just happened too late for him. This is just such a roller coaster because there's the tragedy of Dobby having this mismatch of information, this asymmetry. The same thing happened with Ur U Uraka and Toga. That could have been good, but it just wasn't, which to the audience makes total sense, but you know, we can see it from multiple multiple perspectives. But then like, just the emotional triumph of Best Genius coming back, a great moment if short from Bakugo, and the heroes turning the tides. It, it's just so well done. It's so amazingly done.